Hey everybody, so here we are going to show you how to make that under the sea plaque that you just saw. And here I have put tuck tape underneath this MDF board that is a heavy duty tape. And I've already prepped the board by painting it with white acrylic, several coats. And there is a natural frame around, or a built-in frame around this uh, piece that has a channel, as you can see there. And I'm trying to cover the channel here with some uh, builder's masking tape to prevent the resin from flowing down into that channel. Now, unfortunately, uh, it didn't really work and a lot of resin did go down. It did keep out a lot of resin, but resin did go down there. And normally it would have flown right through and out because that frame is only attached in six small spots around the edge and the rest is open to the back. But because I taped the back up with the tuck tape, uh, now the channel is closed and so the resin filled the channel. I did poke um, through the resin and through the tape uh, to try to get it to drain out and some did but not all of it. So resin stayed down there, it cured and it is what it is. Um, it doesn't actually look that bad but here I am uh, taking these small pieces of tape because it's a circle I have to do it a little bit at a time and working my way around to uh, cover that channel as best I can. Now you can see there it's done and it looks pretty good. Uh, the surface of the um, board I already painted with silver paint and uh, silver acrylic paint and now yeah, we're ready to go. Okay sorry about the sound of my dishwasher. So I've mixed up 600 mils, actually almost 700 mils of um, resin and it's the East Coast resin which is the one that sets up quicker. So the first time I did one of these I used um, art resin which takes longer to set up, but this time I'm gonna try uh, this resin. Okay, I just have to make sure I'm balanced here. I don't feel like I'm very well balanced, so I'm just gonna fix that. So, okay, should be better. So I'm going to mix up four colors and a glitter. And I'm going to use an equal amount of resin pretty much in each one. So no, it doesn't have to be perfect, but just roughly the same amount in each. In there because that has a little further to go. Seems like a lot of resin to me but I don't think I used this much the first time but I don't remember because it was a couple months ago that I made the first one. Okay. So I'm using a glitter called Atlantis and this is from um, Michael's and it comes in a little Ziploc bag and I just didn't like that bag. It didn't feel very, it just tended to want to overflow when I opened it. So I put them in these containers and these containers are great because the lid locks into the, or the bottom of this locks into the lid of the one below so you can stack them quite easily. So I'll put quite a bit of glitter in there. Okay. Nice and shiny. There we go. Now 
know, this is Artist Loft Thalo Blue. Diamond in turquoise diamond effect mica powder. This doesn't take very much. Crafters Acrylic Deco Art um, in turquoise, and this is just from the dollar store. And I'm going to put a little bit of that in, and I'm also going to add um, some of this mica powder. It's called uh, Silk Green, and it's from New Classic. And I bought their 32, I think it was, sample kit. So this is one of their samples and I really like the color and I just want to add a bit of pearl to this but I didn't want to go through a lot of the color so I didn't want to make the whole thing the pearl so we'll just put a little bit in there stir that up Artist Loft um, white full acrylic in here. it out. I feel like there's way too much. I'm a bit worried. I'm a little worried, but we'll see how it goes.
definitely has a different feel to it than the art resin when you spread it like this. You can tell it's a much thicker resin. Now I'm just going to pour these on here and then we're going to let them sit. let this sit for an hour. Let the colors firm up a bit so they don't blend too much when I go to spread them out. Hopefully they won't flow right off the table here. Looks like it wants to do. So I'm gonna hold it for a second. Turn this off we'll let this sit for an hour and then I'll be back okay so it's been almost an hour so it's spread out quite a bit I'm gonna take this bottle brush it's a um, silicone bottle brush and start creating some shapes in the resin And then I'm just gonna pull some through here like this.
Okay, now I've mixed together some crystals, uh, large ones and small ones together. And I'm just going to start putting them in through here to give a bubble effect. Here I'm taking some India ink in aquamarine and adding it to the piece just a few drops at a time and then using a popsicle stick I'm dragging it up through the piece and this just added some beautiful darker veining that when you see it up close just adds another dimension and is actually really really beautiful.
here I'm just taking a silicone stick and working the colors together a little more of the white into the aqua. And now I'm going to carefully remove the tape from around the edge. So as you're about to see, I take an X-Acto knife and in the trough cut through the tuck tape at the bottom in an attempt to get the resin to drain, which of course didn't really work. And I ended up not minding the look of the resin down in the trough. And what I did was I took a popsicle stick and dragged it through the resin and up in the sides of the piece so that on the inside then it was totally covered with resin. Um, up the side of the piece and the frame on the inside. Okay, well we'll let this set. I'm going to keep farting around with it and seeing what I can do to fix it and we will take a look at it tomorrow.